church. Wayne, back to All you. All right, thank you, Catherine. Well, bald has never been more beautiful. There was a very special hair shaving festival at Oaks Park this afternoon, and it was all to fight childhood cancer. After battling leukemia for more than half his life, three and a half year old Ramsey Farrer finally has a full head of hair. It was two months after his diagnosis and we had his head shaved. We didn't know how it would work out, but it worked out great. The St. Baldrick's organization helped pay for Ramsey's cancer treatments. I know it's going to be an emotional day. I can already feel the tears coming on. And this is how that life-saving money is raised. Like just lose these all once. KGW's Drew Carney raised over $16,000 for the charity by shaving his own head. I just wanted to make a difference. This is Caitlin Boland's second time getting a buzz. She's donating her hair to Locks of Love, an agency that makes wigs for cancer patients. I really enjoy being bald. I get a lot of questions and I raise a lot of awareness. Perhaps no one has raised more awareness about battling childhood cancer this year than Ramsey. He's become a national poster child for the St. Baldrick's organization. On this day, he's giving back. By going bald yet again, he's raised more than $13,000 in donations. He's in remission from the one month mark. He still has two and a half more uh, years of treatment. Um, it gets pretty tough at times, but uh, he's Kids are resilient, and you, uh, when you really see how resilient, it, it amazes you. Good job, buddy. For childhood cancer research. That's so good. Uh, what a special little guy.